Hello guys, this is Lina Slimoyanki 2 Hotel. I'm in a beautiful forest today with my beautiful new antenna. I'm gonna test this antenna in this forest and this is a QCX Mini Mono 20 antenna. This antenna is made specifically to work with my QCX Mini 20 transceiver and it's mono band 20 meter tuned and fed half wave antenna. Let's see how is it working. I threw the wire up to the pine tree using this nice yellow ball, which originally comes from my Easy Hang setup. I, I was not using Easy Hang this time, just, just throwing the ball with the rope tied to it. And I was lucky enough to make it at this height at around seven meters from the second attempt so now the antenna is strung up from that point over there and it slopes down in a in a sloping uh, sloping dipole so to say configuration and it comes to my working position right here where the uh, uh the the end of the antenna uh, the cable and the tuning uh, tuning unit is at around two meters height on my improvised flora fauna pole. Before we start the making QSOs, it's a good idea to check the SWR and all the all the antenna analytics with the antenna analyzer, my trusty Nano VNA F. All right, so here we see a very nice SWR graph on my Nano VNA F. I put the range. Uh, on, on the VNAF oh, from 12 megahertz to 20 megahertz and we see a very very nice dip here at the frequency around 14.16 it's a very nice SWR 1.04 uh, the the frequency of our interest is like uh, let's say 14 14.0608 still we have 1.26 so basically in the whole range of, of the CW portion, we have pretty low, uh, pretty low SWR. Uh, so I think it's uh, it's okay. Uh, I could I could low down antenna again and try to make it a little bit longer because they left uh, the fold over uh, end of the antenna fold over on it. Uh, but uh, I think it's okay. It means that. Um, that, that it works and it's basically would I use this antenna with another transceiver SSB transceiver so I could easily um, be tuned to, to the SSB range too so it's kind of a good compromise between SSB and CW uh, portions of the band in, in this in this configuration of today uh, it's not a traditional transformer 49 to 1 it's a tuned parallel uh, resonance circuit the transformer is made of this uh, of this toroid T68 number 2 it's comprised of uh, 16 maybe 17 uh, turns for the secondary and for the primary it's two turns of primary and the question is where's the capacitor if this is a LC tuned circuit where is a capacitor the role of the capacitor is implemented by another piece of RG174 cable soldered up to the secondary winding and this is the end of the capacitor so it's a piece of, uh, of uh, coax cable RG174 uh, the length is after all the tunings and pruning procedures the, the length is uh, 62 centimeters it means uh, that the capacity of this capacitor is 60, around 62 picofarads because uh, for this cable, this type of the cable, one centimeter is equals almost one picofarad. So in this way, uh, I'm getting uh, very cheap, high voltage, pretty precisely tunable capacitor because you can uh, you can cut uh, half a centimeter, you can cut a millimeter, a centimeter, two centimeters. You may choose the uh, capacity of this capacitor pretty precisely getting into the resonance. Uh, initial tuning was done 
uh, with the with the resistor of 3.3 kilo ohms connected uh, to, to instead instead uh, of this antenna wire. Uh, so because uh, around 3 kilo ohms, this is the impedance uh, for the end-fed half wave, more or less around. There's an agreement that it's. Uh, three kilo ohms it's around uh, on the resistance which should be used for the testing purposes while while getting into the resonance so and when you get uh, the tuned circuit the lc circuit comprised of uh, this uh, toroid and this coax capacitor uh, into the resonance with the resistor you get a resonance with a purely resistive so to say characteristic and then while connecting the wire and start pruning the wire you don't need to change anymore neither the windings nor the capacitor uh, nothing you just try to adjust the length of the wire uh, in order to fit into the same readings as it was with the three kilo ohms resistor so in this way you're getting as maximum as possible the resistive load of the from the antenna wire uh, with uh, with as less as possible um, all the all the uh, reactances capacitive or or inductive reactances so by doing this in my backyard i've come to the result that the wire length uh, for this uh, and fed half wave on 20 meters is 9 meters 85 centimeters so it's less than 10 meters, but it's probably, you know, there are many factors like velocity factor of the wire and, uh, and uh, in influence of environment and so far and so on. And this is uh, the uh, RF choke. RF choke is uh, installed one meter from the coil, down one meter from the coil. And this one meter is exactly 0 0.05 wavelength of on the 20 meter band, which is recommended uh, length of counterpoise uh, for the ant-fed half wave antennas. So I don't have any other separate wire uh, serving as a counterpoise, but I use uh, the outer shield of the cable. And that's why after uh, the um, below the one meter below the 0 0.05 wavelength i need to have a rf choke in order to prevent uh, the rf uh, common mode current uh, to go further on uh, on the on the cable and further on onto the transceiver that would be not good even if the power is only five or six watts only um, common mode current never is desirable or never is a good thing so it's another uh, another toroid this time this is ft toroid ft uh, 114 uh, 43 material and it's uh, 13 windings uh, uh, wound in the crossover mode in order to have this rf choke We have the transceiver in the into the straight key mode, which is kind of a tuning mode. So the power is around six watts, and the SWR is negligible less than 1.2. That was actually was uh, was shown also with the our antenna analyzer. We just can try measure the RF feedback with my RF probe, homemade RF probe. It's not a terribly precisely device. It's kind of a general impression of, uh, of whether there is feedback or there is no feedback and kind of a, a kind of a relative readings of this of this amount. It's not the absolute readings, not precise, not calibrated, but just it's a very good device uh, to test uh, in principle, in general, to get a, an opinion. Whereas there is a radiation wanted or unwanted when uh, and where there is no one for that first we clamp the rf probe before the rf choke and then by the means of a very sophisticated device like this uh, cw paddle pushing device we may so fine uh, we may produce the carrier and see what do we see here on the cable 
after the transformer before the RF choke. We see so half scale. We see half scale, so it's not, not terribly big, not terribly high RF feedback up to this point, but still there is pretty feasible one. Uh, I've measured uh, the um, current on the wire itself. It was full scale and, and a bit more. So here we see uh, here we see half half the scale almost so it's it's pretty feasible it's pretty feasible uh, RF feedback we can say so now let's measure at the at the end of the radio we climb the meter on in this location right at the radio and see now we see almost none almost none the meter needle barely moves, barely moves. It means that we, we, we practically don't have any feedback on the radio. This is very good because sometimes in the field position, the RF feedback for, for some uh, radios could be pretty, pretty dangerous. So in this case, we don't have any feedback and everybody, including this little buggy, could be very happy. First time. Four Oscar four tango in the TRC contest. Alright guys, so antenna is working nicely together with the QCX Mini 20, so everything is nice, the air is clear, the weather is fine, so the antenna is really proved to be the, the design, I'm very happy with this design. The tuned circuit in the antenna tuning, so to say, situation, not just the transformer 49 to 1, this tuned circuit, I think, brings in additional selectivity. And we can see from the signals on the air uh, on the QCX Mini. Band is very clean, very nice, very low noise level. Thanks for watching. That's it for today. That's it with this antenna experiment. The weather is nice, so I will try to make a few more QSOs. And uh, you may leave your comments. The comments are very welcome in the comment sections. Uh, you may consider subscribing too because uh, I want this channel grow, I want to make more experiments. That's it for today guys, thanks for watching, 73, see you later. This is Linus, Lima Yankee 2 Hotel.